Hi everybody, I'm here to explain a little bit more about our famous people of color assignment. So you can find that in modules and it's got its own module just titled famous people of color. So here's a, a page that will give you information about this assignment, why we're doing it, and a little bit on um, the things that are, are going on about it. But then when you want to find the specific one, so we're going to do this assignment about every third week or so, every other week, and it will usually have a number next to it. So this first one we did is called Famous People of Color Assignment Number One, and for this week, it's student choice. So what they'll have to do is look at these bullet points. So this tells them what they need to include in their mini report, and that's really all it is. It's not meant to be pages and pages long. Um, it can be about a half a page. I would suggest doing this in a Google Doc. That way it's easy to save, it's easy to find, but it's also easy to submit through Canvas. So with every one of these that we do, whether it's this week's or whether it's the next week's or the next one we do, which will be um, on a specific person or students will be given a list of maybe about three to five individuals that um, they can choose from. And sometimes they'll just be directed to do it on one individual and, and there is no choice involved. But they need to give the name and the person's picture. Um, and it's very important to spell the person's name right which includes capital letters uh, for the first letter of their first name and last name. Um, surprisingly, middle school students sometimes forget that. What is it that they did? So be specific. Um, so why is this person highlighted? Why is this person of fame? Um, why do you feel or why do many feel that this uh, person's accomplishment or accomplishments, their achievements were important? So it's not just saying they were a good person. It's not just saying they um, helped promote civil rights. What specifically did they do to help the fight for civil rights? What did they do to try and bring an end to segregation? What did they do that um, helped out people of their identity in our government or in our society? So again, like it says here, be specific. When did they do it? An approximate timeline. So whether it's a year, whether it's a specific month and date, or whether it's just generally a, a, a century or not even a century, a decade. Okay, so their work was mostly in the 1950s or their work was mostly in the 1830s. Okay, just try and give uh, as much of an approximate time as possible, but as specific as you can. What did you learn from this person or what can we learn from this person? What can we do to follow their lead? So it's, again, it's more than just saying, um, I learned that this person was brave. Well, how were they brave? Explain that. Or don't just say, I learned that this person um, really wanted to fight for what they believed in. Okay, how did they do it? What was it that they believed in? So you might need to restate your um, bullet point number two. Okay, something else that you found interesting about their work or their character. This can be related to their accomplishments or it can be something unique. Maybe it's that they came from a family of 12 people. Maybe it's that they were homeless for most of their childhood. Maybe it's that they um, never got a formal education, but they served in government or they, they led a successful business, whatever it might be. This is also important. You need to make sure that you link or sort, or I'm sorry, cite the articles or the videos or the websites where you got your information from. Again, I don't think that anybody is a qualified expert and knows everything right off the top of their head. You had to have get it from, gotten it from somewhere. Even quote unquote experts draw their information from certain sources. So you wanna make sure that you, um, you, you link that here. So, and remember, you cannot count Google as one of your links. Remember, it's a search engine, not a source. And if you use Wikipedia, that's okay as a guide, but you have to use at least one other source um, or site in addition, okay? Um, Wikipedia is good for direction, but you should explore deeper and elsewhere and not get everything just from the Wikipedia page. So let's say you've submitted it and you wanna know, um, how did I do? So if you uh, go to this assignment here, if you submitted it, it'll say submitted up here. And if you want to see what the uh, grade was, you can click submission details. And I see right here that I did not get a grade for this. Um, but my teacher left me some comments. So if I reread my answer here, I can look and see that um, the teacher says, I need to add some more explanation and detail to this and focus on using complete sentences. Um, also, in my resubmission, I need to focus on these points. One, what were they protesting for? So if I look back at my answer, I said that Martin Luther King Jr. was peacefully boycotting and protesting against black rights. Well, my teacher is right. I didn't really specify what rights they were, he was protesting for and how was he protesting. Um, I didn't really address the issue of why did I feel that these protests and doing this was important. 
it might be inherent in your mind that, yeah, duh, it's important, but you have to write this as though the person you are trying to educate does not know. And that's part of our problem in society is, um, you know, ignorance. And I don't mean that in a negative way. Um, ignorance is really just, you know, not knowing something. So some people don't know why this was important and that's where we need to educate and that's going to continue to um, strengthen diversity and, and bring our society more together and, and have a better understanding. Another point that I need to address is what have I learned from this person or what can I do to follow their lead or what can people do to follow their lead? I didn't talk about that in here. So, um, you know, it says he's gotten it over time with lots of peaceful boycotts and protests, but again, it's not specific enough. So my instructor says to fix this and resubmit it. So all I would do is go to resubmit assignment and I can either, I'm going to go to text entry and I can either um, type in my edits or like I said, it's much better if I do it in a Google doc. And then when I'm ready to submit that, I'm going to click this little lowercase blue V or light blue V that says more external tools. I'm going to choose it from my Google drive and assuming that I've done it, I'm going to go in and type in famous people of color and you don't have to type in the entire um, item. And I'm sorry, I kind of did that a little fast, but if you type in just the main things, so famous people of color, And it's going to pull up um, something. And so uh, I'm going to select that and then um, it will be put in there for me. I'll get this right yet. So I pulled it up here. So I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click add and attach file. And it's put in here for me now, just like it uh, was showing on my Google Doc. So then I'm just going to simply hit submit assignment and then it'll go to my instructor. So that way they can see the fixes that I made and um, hopefully my score will improve or I'll get a score. So that's how you're going to complete that assignment. If you have any questions, please feel free to email your instructor and ask for clarity.